Welcome to the world! Let me turn off the music. Welcome to the world, everybody, and welcome back to our, like, Disney-inspired look kind of series. Um, I've already got my foundation on, my foundation primer, my foundation, my eye primer, and my concealer, um, because it worked really well for the Alice video, and it kind of forces me to be a little bit more cautious with what I do. I've already got everything out that I'm going to need. I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I'm also going to be using my Profusion Wanderlust palette. Um, I've also got my lashes out. I'm going to be using um, all of my products I'm going to use today are going to be listed down below in the description because that's going to be a whole lot faster than me going through and telling you everything I'm going to use and everything that I've already used. Today's character is um, in the newer movies he was called Absalom in the 1951 he was just called the caterpillar um, and I even kind of like curled my hair because it kind of reminded me of like his wisps of smoke and my curls were doing a whole lot better um, and now they've kind of just like flattened but we're gonna throw them behind me while I get this done and we're just gonna go ahead and get started what we're gonna do is kind of like a three toned look today um, because he's like, when you look at pictures of him, he's mostly blue. Um, and then he's got like those little pink, his feet are a little pink. And then when he turns into a butterfly, it's his little dots until he gets angry. And then he turns like pink red. Um, and then I know he smokes and all of his little smokes like come out different colors. So we're going to do like a little pop of either some bright green or some bright orange. I'm not entirely sure yet on our inner corner to kind of like pull in the gold in his hookah and the like bright bright colors that he smokes. Um, so what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna go with like more of a sassy dramatic eye because he's a sassy dramatic person. That's my husband anyway. So what we're going to start with is we're gonna start again with one of these crease brushes because it worked marvelously for yesterday. Let me just figure out which brush I want. I want the smaller one or the big one. We're going to try the smaller one today because we want to be a little bit more precise with what we're doing. And we're going to work our way from the inner corner out today because with the exception of the bright, bright pop I want to put on the inner corner, I really want to get that defined pink in there. So we're going to take the lightest shade of pink in the uh, BH Cosmetics Bring Me Back to, uh, Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And we're going to use that as kind of our transition shade because it's light, not exactly neutral, but it's more neutral than like a bright teal. And what I'm kind of doing is I'm tracing out the shape I'm going to want using the point of the brush. And again, I don't mind if this wants to go like all the way up to my brows today because we're going for more of a dramatic look. And then from there we're going to go into our Wanderlust palette and use a little bit of Love Story. Same brush to kind of lower that crease a bit into the actual crease. Kind of focusing on the inner half of our eye going all the way down to our lid. That wasn't what I was planning on doing, but that's what we're doing now. And that's a bit of a shimmer shade. And I'm just kind of tapping the, pa the pan with my brush. And bringing it down. And then we're going to use the lightest blue from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, which is this one right here. And we're going to use that just like we used the Love Struck. Take it from the crease down. And kind of just fill in the line we drew. Blendy, blendy, blendy. And take it on the lower lash line. Repeat those steps on the other eye. Let's 
And then we're going to go back into our Wanderlust palette and we're going to grab Splash, which is this blue color, this way, this blue color. And we're all just doing this with the same brush because I'm really kind of liking how it's blending. And we're going to use that in the outermost corner just to give us some depth. Blend it a bit across the top. And bring it on the lower lashes. I'm just going to pick up some more and duplicate that on this eye. And then what I want to do is I'm going to use Go Girl from Wanderlust Palette. I'm going to attempt to put kind of like just a little circle in the blue. Just a little pop on both sides just to kind of symbolize that cute little pop in his wings and use that for the center. And we're going to use our little flooper to kind of blend these. Again, I don't mind if this goes all the way up to my brow. Because this is the kind of look. It, it's, it's an out there kind of look. Then I'm going to take this little guy. We used him on the Cheshire Cat. And we're going to pick up some of this yellow. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix this yellow with this yellow with this yellow and maybe a little bit of that green. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, a little bit of that green. There we go. And pop that on the inner side. Just a little pop. And then we're just going to take our flooper and dip it in that lightest pink we used in the beginning just to kind of blend the green into the purple on the lower lash line and then because it's me and I can't do anything without glitter we're using that same floofer taking our Revlon Color Charge and Fuchsia we're going to add some glitter. We're just going to take a little bit off the lid. Okay, we're going to take it all off the lid. Blech. We're just going to kind of pat that on the pink. Just to kind of give that some real definition. And make it stand out. Because we want to. Because we can. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to get a clean floofer. So we're actually going to use one of the brushes that came with the Profusion palette. So we're going to try out this Profusion brush. We're just going to take this one and we're going to dip it in frosting and illusion, I think. Yeah. Frosting and illusion. And take those right over the top, right under the brow bone. Just to kind of give us some glitter. And in the corner one. Inner corner. Because why not? Because who says we can't have all the glitter? Okay, and I will be right back. I'm going to pop on liner, brows, and mascara. Actually, I'm going to pop on liner and brows, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and popped off and did my liner, my brows, which they need reshaped again. 
Um, and then I did the rest of my powder, so I've got my little bit of contour on. I'm actually going to blend this side out a bit more. And my highlight, I used my purple highlighter today because I felt like it was very Absalom. There's that side and that side. You can see my paint that way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop off. I'm putting on the LA Colors Dramata Lash because um, I feel like this look needs a lash. So I'll be right back with lashes and more than likely a lip too. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so um, I came back with the lashes and I decided I actually wanted to talk to you before I put on the lip um, because I'm going to be trying out this new product that I got um, that I've been kind of waiting for the perfect look to try it. And I think this might be the perfect look. And what it is, is it's a, it's, it's, it's by NYX and it is the uh, Glitter Gold Liquid Lipstick. And apparently it goes on metallic and dries down glittery. And if this isn't the look for that, I don't know what is. So, we're going to put this on. Well, we're going to get it open, and then we're going to put it on. We can get through the tape barrier. Find the edge of the tape. And this is an Amethyst Vibes. So, because I was looking at it, and I'm like, eh, is he a pink? I don't feel like Absalom or the Caterpillar is a pink kind of guy. Like, yeah, he's got a little bit of pink, but I think he's a glitter guy. So we're going to try this out and see how I like it. Um, I'm, I'm just going to use like a neutral. Oh, you guys. I'm going to use my darker neutral toned lip liner and line well within my lips just to kind of keep it put in place. So we're going to open these up, find out which one's the darkest. Okay, we're going to use this one. All right. Let me line my lips. Oh, it's so pretty. Ooh, that's real dark. I know my lower lip for ooh, you guys. Ooh, it's so velvety. <laughs> okay, so it's supposed to dry down lighter than it applied. This one edge is still being a little bit of a stubborn butt, but I don't think I want to mess with it too much. And that was all with one dip, you guys. I didn't re-dip. At least I don't think I did. I am going to right now because I've got a little spot that's just a little bit sheer on my upper cupid's bow right here. And I just want everything to match. Oh. So we're not going to, like, smack my lips together just yet because I do want it to, like, not down and be really pigmented right in here. Oh. Okay, I ended up patting my lips together, but you guys. Mm. I'm in love and I think I need other colors now. Like it hasn't dried down yet, but it is so sparkly. Huh. And it's so soft. 
That is going on the top shelf. So let's let's test it with our we've got our tea. We're doing Alice in Wonderland. We can't do it without tea. Granted it's iced tea, but a little bit of transfer from the bottom lip, but the bottom lip's also still wet. So it looks like most of the transfer that we're getting is from that bottom lip. You guys, this is amazing. Like, I'm really happy I curled my hair because it kind of gets the tendril of smoke like that he does. Um, these curls are like pinned up back here because they're all kind of a mess. And these curls probably should have been pinned up back there because they're all kind of a mess too. But we're just gonna like tuck that behind my ear and so we're gonna tuck them both behind my ear that's just my curls are not wanting to behave i think i need to go back to doing heated curls but you guys this is a look I've got my little dots for his wings i've got a little bit of yellow in the inner corner mm. i love how this one came out if that's not a look, I don't know what is. Mm, I am so happy with how Absalom turned out. Mm. Sorry, okay, I can't stop feeling myself. I need to go take some selfies. Um, thanks so much for tuning in today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I think I'm going to have to go get more of those colors. Um, in the meantime, or like go order more of those colors or something. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in. Comment down below what you think of this lip. Like, it's dried down, but it's not, like, dry, dry, harsh, harsh. I really like it. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you've tried it, give me your opinion. Because, ooh, girl, that color. Mm. Okay. I'm going to go send pictures of this to my best friend because she wanted to know what it looked like when I used this lippy finally. The family is lippy. So, thanks for tuning in, you guys. It was wonderful chatting with you. Um, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Uh, remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to one another, be the change you want to see in the world, and especially days like today. A smile is infectious. And girl, love yourself. <laughs>